Okay, this is our breaking uh, news tonight. Whoopi Goldberg suspended from The View uh, for two weeks. That's according to ABC News. The president. Of Black History Month opened with ABC suspending Whoopi Goldberg of The View for her remarks about the Holocaust. The industry seems somewhat divided on ABC's response, but I've got a few things to say. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. ABC has suspended Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks following remarks she made about the Holocaust. Here's a clip of those comments. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. It, yeah, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but going it's not, after it's Jews not about and, and, and race. It's it's that that but these are two Romans. white groups of people. Well, they how do we have to black people see them as white? And they but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. It's a problem. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, because black, white, Jews, uh, it's how everybody eats each other. Her colleagues in Hollywood may have varying views on her suspension. As many of you know, outside of the TYT arena, I educate on issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion as an executive at Jennifer Brown Consulting. In November, I sat down with the Anti-Defamation League to do a training on how to fight against anti-Semitism in the workplace. So I'm somewhat informed on the issue, although I will never be as informed as someone who lives, studies, and or breathes anti-Semitism. With that said, I will say my piece. I, as a black woman, understood what Whoopi was trying to say, and others out there did too. For example, as New York Times bestselling author Frederick Joseph tweeted, Whoopi was incorrect, but her vantage point was that of a black woman in America who was speaking from a definition of race as she has experienced it. Why not educate her versus suspending her? Also, Meghan McCain spent years being intentionally racist with no repercussions. The fact is that Whoopi, a 66-year-old black woman who grew up in public housing in New York City, was speaking from a very limited perspective when it came to race. She was likely thinking black, white, Asian, and so on in terms of, you know, the U.S. Census categories. I get that she was operating from that very simplistic view that has largely governed much of our society here in the United States. At the same time, Whoopi Goldberg is a 66-year-old black woman who is among the elite in Hollywood with a platform that reaches at least some 2 million viewers a day live. And with her ascent, she's been exposed to a wealth of knowledge and opportunity. Whoopi could have picked up a book or had a conversation to understand that there are, let's say, non-white Jews, and that her understanding of race was limited when it came to the Holocaust. And if you don't know, the Holocaust was the systemic state-sponsored persecution and murder of 6 million European Jews by the Nazi German regime and its allies and collaborators between 1933 and 1945. This was a calculated genocide that spanned nations and years, and it wasn't forever ago. The Holocaust occurred within the lifetime of Joe Biden to the issue of race. Race, that was the issue of the Holocaust. As Yair Rosenberg explained in his article for The Atlantic, the Nazis were obsessed with race and defined the Jews as their racial inferior, which is how they justified exterminating them. This is why the Nazis targeted anyone with a Jewish grandparent, regardless of whether that person identified as Jewish or not. Nazism was a blood-based doctrine of racial supremacy. Basically, race was a core issue of the Holocaust, and that's where Whoopi was entirely wrong. I fully appreciate that Whoopi apologized and now gets it, but the question is, how do we even get here? The problem is that there's a lack of knowledge here in the United States, and this never should have been an issue. The fact is that, you know, we have people speaking from an ignorant place in our society, in part because our society is not educating on racism, the Holocaust, anti-Semitism. We're in a process where people are banning books right now in various states that educate and enlighten on these subjects. Last month, there was a hostage situation at that Texas synagogue, and there were white supremacists going door to door. Also last week, there were hundreds of flyers being strewn about in Florida, Colorado, Wisconsin, and many other states essentially blaming COVID-19 on Jews. The fact is that America has a hate problem and Whoopi's lack of knowledge about the Holocaust and what it's about is really a reflection on the lack of education our society has. And we need greater education because we also need accountability. Speaking of accountability, I'd be remiss not to point out 
that ABC never suspended host Meghan McCain for her host of racist comments that she made on The View. And this isn't so much about whataboutism as it's more of a reflection of essentially how white supremacy works. It divides the marginalized. And here on the first day of Black History Month, it really won. A tweet by Amanda Smith, writer and host of the Disaster Podcast, gives essentially my statement context. She tweeted, Institutional white supremacy works hard to create a division between the Jewish community and the black community, both through the perpetration of destructive tropes and by refusing to acknowledge the existence of non-white Jews. Suspending Whoopi only serves to further this. The fact is we have to work together to end white supremacy. And without that unity, there's no way we are going to stop it.